Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Harika. So in previous video, we have seen how we can actually create an asset in the orchestrator using orchestrator API calls via Postman. So in this video, I am going to talk about how we can get all the assets that are there or that you have already created in your process of a particular folder from uh, using orchestrator API calls via Postman. So for that, let's get into the video and see how we can do that. So as usual, we are going to the UiPath connector guide. So if you are not sure what you have to do, how you can uh, redirect to this particular site and how you can get this particular APIs. And if you want to learn everything right from the scratch, I'm going to link the particular videos link in the uh, over here. You can just click on that particular link and it will help you to direct to that particular video. So you can just check out all the previous videos that will give you enough understanding before you actually uh, learn how to get the assets okay so uh, if you already have watched the previous videos and if you have knowledge on how to do this and why we are doing this then it's absolutely fine let's dig into the video and see how we can do this so first of all what i'm going to do in order to get all assets I'm, i need to have a particular api endpoint right so this is my api endpoint so just copy this particular endpoint go to your postman So here in the Postman, just create a particular request. So I wanted to get all the assets, right? So just replace this with your uh, particular cloud tenant URL. So what's my cloud tenant URL? I'm just copying till orchestrator underscore. So it's just the same that how we have done in the previous videos. So once after that's done, so what else is the mandatory uh, parameters or the headers that you have to provide for this particular request? So we are using this particular endpoint and we need to give the authorization, right? So from the previous videos, we've been using the same authorization, which is barrier token. So once um, as I'm using it in the same collection, that will be auto generated. But if you don't know how to do the authorization, there's a first video. I'm going to give the link over here. Just check it out and that will help you how you can get this particular barrier token. Okay. So once after that is uh, brought up over here, what's the next thing? We just have to follow this guide, this connector guide blindly that we have to provide all these parameters inside the particular request that will help us to provide a, a particular response or you can receive a particular response from the AP, uh, server. Okay. So we don't have to provide the tenant because it's we have already provided the tenant over here, cloud tenant. And I want to give the organization unit id so just copy this particular x ui path organization unit id and go over uh, your postman go to headers and here just given the uh, key which is organization unit id so what actually goes in here so from which folder you wanted to get the uh, particular assets so let's go to your um orchestrator so if you see i'm having these are the different folders that i have right so for out of all these folders let's say if i wanted to get the assets which are confined to default folder so let's say i have six assets and in the modern folder i have one asset only so let's see how this actually we can do so go to default folder uh, so how you know the folder id we have already created a request to get to the folder id of all the folders that are there in the orchestrator so what is it this is um, this is my particular request for that. So uh, go over here and click on send. So it's 401 because I need to refresh the barrier token. Just um, go to your uh, your authorization. Where is my authorization? This is my authorization, right? So just go over here and click on send. You will get the refreshed uh, access token. Just copy this. And now go to your uh, folders request and here just paste it over here and you will get the folder ID. So uh, these ones I have already covered in the previous videos, how to get the folder ID of all the folders that are there in your orchestrator. So that video also I'll link over here. Just check it out. If you haven't watched the video earlier, that's quite easy and it will give you so much understanding. So for further default folder, let me show you. 
so here uh, the display name is default and for the default folder the id is triple four one zero nine just copy this particular id go over to your get all assets because i wanted to get um uh, assets all the assets of the unit id for the default folder right so this is the id for the default folder so everything is set so now what's the next thing that you have to do these are the parameters that you have to provide in and this should be the response so just come over here and click on send so you can see the response code is 200 that means it's a successful response code and we can see that we've got how many assets six assets right so how many assets are there in the default folder we have seen it those are six assets so you can see these are the different assets that i have it over here so this is the name uh, always validate classification so these are the different assets that i have right so this is how uh, we can actually retrieve all the assets so let's say if you wanted to retrieve the assets for the modern folder not for the uh, default folder okay so in the modern folder i have only one asset so how you can do that just change the folder id just go to your um, request where you have all the folders so for the modern folder i have a folder id of this just change this one particular parameter that's it so I have changed, right? So just click on send. It will give you one asset, which is Caesar 2, right? So this is how you can actually get all the assets from the orchestrator of a particular folder via API orchestrator API calls using Postman. So I hope this video is clear for you. And next, in the next video, I'm going to talk about how we can actually update the assets that we have already created in the orchestrator. So I think that would, video will be very much useful. And that will be the last video in this particular series, which is orchestrator API via Postman. So I hope uh, you, you might have watched all the previous videos. If you haven't watched and if you're looking for the playlist of that particular video, please check out the link in the description. I have provided the playlist link in the description. So and also, uh, please try to uh, repl replicate everything what we are doing in this video so that you'll get the hands on on what we are doing. And also, if you are facing any questions, do let me know in the comment section. I am so happy to answer your questions and also uh, provide solution you know, if you are stuck anywhere while doing this. Thank you so much for watching and do not miss any of the future videos. Please do subscribe to my channel. That will give me a lot of motivation to come up with more interesting stuff. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.